Finally, dudes, we are back for more Tier Zoo. Seal versus Sea Lion. Seal, this is what seals look like, not the black guy. You know what? Did not consider that. This is what seals look like. Very adorable, very cute, kind of vicious, good fighters. That was kind of fucked up. That was kind of sad. And the saddest part about seals is that you see them um, getting killed by orcas in uh, documentaries all the time. And then here are sea lions. They look a lot alike. Sea lions have very big uh, flippers and seals have very small flippers. So they have very big bellies, right? And that's a really easy way to uh, tell the difference between a seal and sea lion. Shout out to uh, Tier 2 and uh, let's get it. This episode was sponsored by Skillshare. you damn right it was. Okay. <laughs> DM, seriously? Yep. <laughs> Did it? Whoa! Whoa! Seals and sea lions. At first glance, you might think they're one and the same. But that's honestly one of the worst assumptions new players can make when trying to create a marine My mammal build. Bad. Because a lot of really important stats and abilities are specific to one or the other. So allow me to explain the differences so that you can choose the one best suited to your playstyle. But first, a bit of background on the group as a whole. Both seals and sea lions are part of the guild known as Pinnipedia. Pinnipedia was founded by a group way out of my league already. What? of high-level bear mains that decided to start investing evolution points into aquatic mobility and survival skills. For mobility, Pinniped specced into changing their paws into flippers. This was a huge sacrifice in terms of damage, as they no longer had claws, but it grants them an enormous buff to mobility in the water. The other major investment was into diving abilities, the most important of which is their heavily reinforced respiratory system. Their lungs and trachea are reinforced with extra cartilage and muscle to ensure that their respiratory system doesn't get damaged from the pressure of deep diving. They're also immune to the effects of oxygen toxicity and decompression sickness. With these changes, Pinniped players were able to bring the terror that Ooh. is the bear build to a player base totally is unfamiliar with the matchup. Bro, they stolen. were extremely successful and were able to expand to servers all throughout the game world. And this is where players started to customize the Pinniped build further, creating a division between the seals and the sea lions. The thing that most often gets pointed out as a difference between them is that sea lions have ears while seals do not. Ooh. This is actually one of the more minor differences, but it points to the overall trend that we'll see. The lack of ears ever so slightly boosts mobility in the water by reducing drag. The effect okay. is small, but it's indicative of my main point, which is that seals have put a lot more skill points into aquatic abilities than sea lions have. Sea lions, on the other hand, are much more balanced between terrestrial and aquatic gameplay. A lot more durable in both water and on land, and seals are really just specking into aquatic like mobility stats and stuff. That makes a lot of Let's sense. Let's start with their land mobility. Although they're of course much more mobile in the water, sea lions do retain the ability to run on land. This is hugely important because it allows them to both evade attacks from the water's right. edge and also allows them to chase down targets on the beach too. He's right. really doing that. Their mobility on land ensures that matchups between them and fully terrestrial players aren't horribly one-sided. Seals, on the other hand, have one of the lowest land mobility yeah, levels in the him. game. It's so cute, They're forced cute, to use though. less than stellar movement options like bouncing, crawling, and scooting. That is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. As oh a my result, God. they are much more vulnerable oh. to predators when oh. they're on land. Oh. oh! In the water, it's a different story, though. Seals are excellent swimmers. They focus on efficiency rather than agility, and can travel extremely long distances without stopping to rest. They can dive about four times deeper than sea lions, and by extension have much larger territories. They can access sources of XP Whoa. that sea lions would run out of oxygen or stamina before <laughs> yeah, get reaching. Out, play, boy. Don't get me <laughs> wrong though, sea lions are some of the best swimmers in the game, and are much more agile than seals. Right. They have a higher attack accuracy in the water, because they can make sharper turns. And their more powerful flippers can actually allow them to reach speeds higher than the seal's top <laughs> speed, although only in short bursts. As for surviving ice damage, seals and sea lions both have different approaches to this as well. Because they're more solitary, seals have thicker blubber, while sea lions opt to keep warm using team strategies. Okay. In fact, sea lions use teamwork for a lot of things, whether it be keeping warm, defending new players from raids, or trapping fish. But that's, see, I thought that's why orcas really like hunting sea lions, because there's so many of them uh, in one spot. While it is a matter of personal preference which build you think best suits your playstyle, 
I do believe that sea lions outrank seals on the tier list. Sea lions outrank seals. Sea lions really? outcompete seals when their territory overlaps, which is why seals need to spend evolution points increasing their effective range. Ah. On average, I put sea lions in B tier, while seals are in C tier. Hmm. However, while there isn't much difference among sea lions, seals do have a few specialist classes that I think potentially outrank sea lions. The leopard seal Echo is the fires. only one which can match the sea lion in terms of power. It's one of the only pinnipeds that can survive the cold temperatures of the Antarctica server. And this grants it free reign to terrorize the penguin population. These are the ones that you see on a lot of documentaries and right here. There's also the elephant seal, yep. a build that's so bulky that the only build that can deal enough damage to bring them down is the great white shark. Very creepy. Both of these, I think, sit far above other seals on the tier list, and likely would place at the top of B tier. However, I don't think seals and sea lions will ever place higher than that simply because splitting your skill points between surviving on land and being able to traverse the ocean will mean that you'll always come up short compared to builds that only focus on one. Right. Sharks and orcas will always dominate in the water, and the vulnerability Please, that these sir. builds face on Please. land is a serious consideration as well. But I certainly don't blame those ancient bear mains who wanted to try out some strange ability combinations. One of the reasons that it's so easy for them to spec into diving abilities is actually because of an exploit known as the Mammalian Diving Reflex, which allows your character to greatly extend the amount of time they can hold their breath. This is a hidden ability that was a key part of the Amphibian build way back during the Devonian expansion. When activated, it slows metabolic rate, allowing the user to dive longer. The devs forgot to patch this ability out of the game when they added the newer factions like birds and mammals. That was so good. So if you're interested in learning how to activate this ancient ability that you have, there's this awesome YouTuber, Mike Boyd, Wait, you can who makes do great walkthroughs on how to quickly level up your intelligence stat to learn new high-level skills. He and I collaborated to demonstrate exactly how you can unlock your inner amphibian. What? What? So follow me over to his channel to find out how. Oh, by the way, when it comes to learning new skills, Mike and I both agree that Skillshare is an incredible resource on that front. <laughs> Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in design, business, technology, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality courses on must-know topics, so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Okay, all right. Oh. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer that's just for my subscribers. Okay, where's, okay here's the video he did with Mike. Did you know that in 2014, a guy called Branko Petrovic held his breath for 11 minutes and 54 seconds. How do you do that? that? Like, I didn't, I thought that was just like a freak human ability. I didn't know you could learn to do that. Is insane. That is the longest anyone has ever held their breath without breathing an oxygen enriched gas beforehand, like what David Blaine did when he set a record of like 60 minutes or something like that. It's almost difficult to believe that that's possible. However, I did a bit of reading on this and apparently with a little bit of training and the correct technique and activating some Something called the dive reflex normal people average people can drastically increase the amount of time that they're able to hold so then all those sitcoms you watch I'm not gonna watch this entire video of course I'll just link it for you guys but so like all those website all those uh, shows you watch like um, what is what is the most recent one we've seen it on I know, I think Everybody Hates Chris had an episode of it where they were scared to go to the pool. Shameless. Shameless had a good one. But yeah, all these sitcoms that do those things of kids learning how to hold their breath for longer actually are true. You could actually learn how to hold your breath for like a ridiculous amount of time. That's actually insane. That might be something that we check out on my own time. Uh, shouts out to the Tear Zoo. Uh, shout out to Mike Boyd. And, uh, and we'll get into it later, man. I'll, I'll holla. Peace. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church. Wearing Crocs. I'm always turned. Wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake.
crocs, 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 crocs.